Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually order the controller PCB from PCBWay.com. Then we can click the quote now button and quick order PCB. And then we can add a Gerber file. And this is just all of the files that I showed you how to output in the last video, which I have right here, zipped up. And then we can just click plus add Gerber file, select that and hit upload. And you can see that right away, it's already giving us a quote for how much this is going to cost. And if you want to change the color, you can do that and you can click specify a location and then if you simply add a text field on the board where it says way 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 then it'll put the product number right there so for me I put it under where the Arduino micro will go so it's hidden away now that we've got our PCB and all of our components let's go ahead and assemble our controller the first thing we need to do is prepare a couple of the components which aren't quite ready to be soldered to our controller so for the joysticks since they're already soldered onto a PCB we need to desolder them from that PCB so that we can connect them to our PCB so what I'm going to do is desolder the joystick in parts. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pry back the two potentiometers and then we can desolder those two separately. I'm also going to cut the four pins that go into the board so that we can simply remove the entire assembly. Once we desolder the button and both potentiometers, then we can snap the potentiometers back on and slide it into our PCB so it's ready for soldering. The next thing we need to do is go ahead and assemble our Arduino micro board with its header pins. This is much easier. All you do is slide the header pins into the holes, clip both in place with your helping hands, and then solder down the line. Now that we've got our Arduino micro assembled and our joysticks removed from their boards, let's go ahead and add all of our components to our PCB. So we have the Arduino micro, the two joysticks. We also have the four buttons that go on the top, and instead of inserting them all so that they're on the top side of the board, I decided to put the outer ones on the bottom side of the board so that I can have my pointer fingers on the top ones and my second finger on the the lower ones. I may also switch which one is the button and which one is the trigger on each side, but that's a programming issue. We can also add the resistor and bend its legs out so it stays in place and the LED doing the same thing. And then we can just go around and insert each of the buttons into their appropriate holes. Now to do this, we just want to bend the button pins in together a little bit more. And once you've done a couple, you kind of get a knack for this, but we want the spacing of the ends of the pins to be the same as the spacing of the holes on the board so that we can slide it in. Now that we've added all of our components, we can flip the board upside down and solder each of the pins in turn. Once we've finished that, there's the two buttons I put on the bottom, so we'll need to switch over to the top side and add some solder there. And now we have our finished controller with the Arduino micro board, 10 buttons on the face, four buttons sticking off the top, two joysticks, and an LED and resistor. So let's program it in this video right here 